or they have to associate with these brands because they like being on the cover of magazines and going to the Met Gala. One thing I love about this woman is that she will always come out and comment about the most crucial things, non-apologetic, bold, and fearless. I'm talking about none other than Bethan Frankel. If I look and of course, if I list all the people who have been always coming out and addressing the most important details, of course, Bethany tops the list. She has been always coming out and addressing a lot of things concerning the Kardashians. And if I look at the situation right now, I I will tell you she has something to say bethany is addressing the balenciaga scandal we all know the brand has been under fire when they shared photos featuring children posing with teddy bears dressed in bonded gear and even though many celebrities are giving the situation a deaf ear it's not the same case when it comes to bethany she took it to her tiktok account to share her thoughts on the situation targeting the most influential people like kim kardashian and bella Hadid, who haven't denounced the brand they have been working with, yet they know that the, what they did was wrong. Paid by this brand, legally not allowed to speak negatively about the brand if they want to get paid. Obviously, this has been a very, very crucial point. Many fans have been coming out and urging these celebrities and they're like, please, you have to come out and address this. But I will tell you, they are also grown up people. They understand the situation, but they don't even care about the ongoing situation. Well, Bethan is coming out and viewing out all her opinions. Let me first read you on what she had to say regarding this. She was like, one of the big questions has been why celebrities aligned with with the brand haven't haven't disassociated from a business standpoint i assume it's because they either are paid by this brand legally not allowed to speak negatively about the brand the brand if they want to get paid or if they have to associate with these brands celebrities aligned with the brand haven't disassociated from a business standpoint they either are paid by this brand because they like being on the cover of magazines and going and going to the Met Gala. Fashion means front row. Fashion has power. It seems like these days people like Anna Winter have more power than the people in the entertainment industry. This is what I'm talking about. And of course, this is a very, very crucial point. Bethany is like, you know what? Yes, we are seeing them. They are not coming out to address this. And I will tell you, they clearly know that what Balenciaga did was very, very wrong but they are only concerned about connections they are only concerned about influence they are only concerned about what they lose and of course yes they are saying that a lot of fans on social media are urging them to come out and address the ongoing situation but they are just pretending not to care about anything fashion has power it seems these days people like anna wintour have more power than people in the entertainment industry from her view still she implies that people like kim are more concerned with what these brands offer and the connections that comes with it can they even risk being disregarded for events like the met gala they rather keep quiet such selfishness and greedy is very very alarming look at the met gala of this year kim kardashian everything she went an extra mile for i will tell you that was very very sick and she even went an extra mile to lose insane weight just because to appear on the red carpet and of course to be captured and all so just imagine someone very very obsessed to that estate and of course coming out and denouncing balenciaga obviously it is going to cost her a lot of attention it's going to cost her a lot of influence and of course that is what she is afraid about they have to associate with these brands because they like being on the cover of magazines and going to the met gala fashion means front row okay yes she is a mom and of course the balenciaga campaign was all about violating children but she does not care i will tell you and of course bethany is coming out and addressing this issue bethany also commented about the claims of balenciaga that they didn't know what the photographer filmed pretending they were not aware of the campaign she was like did a big photo shoot for interview magazine recently and there was such detail and every member of that crew from the photographer to the creative designer to the wardrobe person was so tensely and intently involved from the photographer to the creative director to the wardrobe person were so intensely and intently involved 
this is a crucial point because you can't tell me you're coming out and filming a certain campaign posting it on your social media platforms and again coming out after things have backfired telling us that you know what it's the photographer's fault we even didn't know what was contained in that campaign oh my god we were not even very very aware what are you telling us i will tell you they first sit down and discuss about everything about everything for a long period of time bethany is coming out and telling us and she is like you know what these companies everyone is always involved and balenciaga clearly knew what they were doing i find it very difficult to believe the story of this shoot was not made abundantly clear she also further said i find it very difficult to believe the story of this shoot was not made abundantly clear in this particular case the victims are these children who are who are objectified it brings up many topics about social media and children being violated and all the things parents fear this is also very very important because she's like you know what it's just unbelievable for this brand coming out and pretending that they didn't know anything we are just very very sorry for all the uh, for all the children because they are the victims in this situation and of course the parents because we clearly see what they are doing right now coming out and protesting and of course denouncing this brand and those parents were probably just happy that their kids were hired to be models so they definitely weren't given any creative background in my opinion such a big brand claiming that they were not aware of the campaign in the first place is a total lie and furthermore exposed them and then after the photographer later on coming out and saying he was just hired to do his job he wasn't responsible for the setup this this was also very important because at a certain point they wanted to blame the photographer but again he later on came out and addressed the issue on his social media platforms and he was like you know what many people have been attacking me many people have been claiming that i'm the bad person but i will tell you i was just hired to do my job i found everything being set up already and basically i even didn't know what they were aiming at bethany also went ahead and commented about the fashion industry full of evil influence let me first read you what she had to say regarding this she was like they probably don't know what to do right now very unfortunate and hopefully will raise awareness on the greater topic which is the children i just can't imagine how that article could arrive on a set like that and make that connection i literally can't understand it so basically if i look at her urges she was like i just hope that this creates awareness and basically Basically, if I look the situ at the situation right now, that is what people are doing. They are not resting. They are continuing to burn all the Balenciaga outfits. They are like, okay, this cost us a fortune. They were expensive, but we are going to stand up for ourselves. She will always take it to her social media platforms and comment about this. What do you even think about her opinion? Do you agree with her? And if you haven't joined us, please, guys, subscribe on our channel so that you don't miss such stories and much more.